Hey, what's up? My name is Martin. I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game. Here is Game Dev Garage. I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials in this channel, and this video will be about UI elements. Uh, this is the game I completed two weeks ago, and uh, in this video we will take a look how I uh, made these uh, UI elements. If you are uh, want to check it out, uh, the game link will be in the description. So let's start. Okay, I'm gonna start with a scratch project. Uh, I just imported my uh, fonts and uh, images. And let's put this image into the canvas. Uh, I'm putting uh, this node into the canvas because I want to make it centered all the time. If you put uh, things uh, into canvas, canvas will uh, scale itself based on screen resolution of device. And uh, this panel uh, will be always centered in the screen. So um, if you want uh, to scale the panel, you may uh, scale like this. And you will uh, f see the corners are bent. We don't want to uh, get this uh, weird behavior. So uh, I will show you a little trick. Here, go to Sprite Frame uh, and click Edit, and an Edit window will open. Uh, this will help us to uh, set nine scale, nine slice scale uh, setup. So we will define the center part of the panel here and here. Uh, this will make uh, only scaling on center part and the sides and corners will not be scaled so the roundness of the corners always be always be uh, kept same uh, i click the yellow uh, check icon here and close the window and we, we need to change the type of uh, sprite we will choose sliced then if we scale you will see corners are fine only the middle area is scaling okay so let's uh, put a title here and I will put it here I will apply same thing to the title section so I want to scale it in case I uh, type a long title here or maybe uh, two lines so here I will define the center area this part because I don't want to scale the bottom side uh, which includes the shadow yes i click the green uh, icon here and close the window then we can scale it safely okay maybe this is fine okay i will um i will put a label here Label is here, and I'm going to drag and drag and drop the font here, and this will be yellowish color. Then a little scale up. Okay, let's let's type this. Um, um, super cool. Okay, yeah. So now uh, we need to make adjustments on the background of the title. Yeah. It seems fine. Okay. 
now uh, I will add a indicator bar here this is the body of the bar and this is the bar <laughs> so this will be show us uh, the percentage I will uh, put this together actually we can organize here yeah this is the bar and I want to add a button and control this bar but I want to first um, adjust the things with the bar so this is the body and this is the um, bar section um, you can use a uh, progress bar uh, built in Cocos Creator progress bar but I will just go uh, myself and make my own uh, progress bar so you can understand how is it working exactly okay uh, in sprites uh, we have uh, several size methods and several type methods if we use fields and uh, define the field range you can use a sprite as a progress bar like this yeah for example we can cut from the uh, left whatever you want so I will use uh, this sprite as a bar so um, now let's add a button here um, this is my button and let's put a label on it and fill it maybe fill it yeah I want to fill the bar and I will drag and drop my font here and adjust the color probably this color will be fine no 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 a little bit darker is better mm -hmm. yeah we can scale it it's too much yeah, this is fine as I told before we can uh, also adjust the sprite frame uh, options here to uh, make it nine slice sprite like this this is very useful because uh, as you can see I have shadows around and shadows will not be scaled in this way on the middle side is scaling so actually if you go if you scale too much uh, deformations will uh, not look like look look good but uh, for small adjustment it's really great feature maybe like this yeah let me adjust it a little bit more seems okay so uh, let's make this uh, sprite a button so I will add a component UI component button here and show target as the button itself so fill button. okay I will lock the label because I don't want to touch it anymore 
Okay, now let's add a script component uh, and uh, go for the progress bar section. I will save the scene now and create a JavaScript and bar maybe progress bar my progress bar okay I will add this component to my progress bar node actually I should rename it because I want to organize things okay this is going to be my progress bar and this is my controller script here let's edit the script okay clean it up okay now I will add a function here fill the bar is better so um, we need to uh, access the uh, bar sprite so I will define a sprite here bar sprites cc sprite so uh, there is one thing I need to clarify I could define a node and uh, um, maybe I could do this this dot bar equals um, bar sprite uh, there is a typo here I need to fix sprite dot get component cc sprite I could do this to get the uh, sprite component from the uh, bar sprite node but uh, it's better to do it like this when I use bar sprite it will be just the sprite itself so I don't need to set up anything okay let's go here yeah we should drag and drop the bar sprite here yes um, I want something here this dot um, progress, progress equals zero so I want to uh, use a uh, variable to keep a level of the progress and um, on load bar sprite dot um, fill range equals this dot progress the progress will be uh, between 0 and 1 1 will be a full and 0 will be empty so when it is uh, we call fill the bar function this dot progress 0 0.1 will be increased by 0 0.1 and bar will be updated this is very very simple function okay now let's go to the fill button and call this function I will drag and drop my progress bar here and choose which component and choose which function I want to call um, here uh, with a button uh, component we have some transition options here I will use color 
so it will be darkened when I press it I will make it a little more dark darker uh, then I think we are okay to go uh, we have defined a progress bar uh, component my progress bar component and we uh, write a code to adjust the fill range of this sprite here fill range was between 0 and 1 as you can see uh, on load it uh, makes uh, the bar 0 and when we hit the button it should be increasing by 0 0.1 okay let's run this game cross your fingers hope it works oh there is something weird just stop 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 what does it say bar sprite is not defined how could be bar sprite ah uh, okay i'm sorry i'm sorry uh, bar sprite uh, bar sprite should be this point bar sprite this is very important because we are uh, in this object this uh, component class so this point bar sprite will be uh, referencing here if we define a bar sprite here something uh, we will be accessing it like this bar sprite this is the guy uh, we defined here and this point bar sprite will be the local uh, property of the object itself so this is a small important thing okay let's go back and run the game okay uh, it uh, it's updated uh, to the zero and i will click fill it as you can see it goes up 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 and done yes that's all uh, this tutorial ends now and we'll see next videos see you bye bye